Buenos días, Chaffin Cheese. Let's going to start our new unit of maths. We are going to start to learn some measurement. So let's see. If I show you this to you, you will tell me that it is a number line, isn't it? But because we are going to be working on measurement, do you think that you know what is this going to be? Scales. Some of you maybe don't know it. So when you are doing some cooking, some of you have sent me these holidays and even during your home learning, you have sent me some cooking that you've been doing with your parents, reading instructions and measuring and doing your cooking. So well done them, but the ones that don't know, let me show you. When you are doing your cooking, yeah, I don't know if you can see well. So you normally have a scale with the numbers. It is like a number line, see? And you have the lines and the numbers to know how much you're putting, to measure how much are you putting in, okay? And you have some like this on hundreds, yeah? And some that is just ones and tens, okay? Okay, so if you look at this, we are going to be learning about scales and today you are going to learn how to read a scale so soon you're going to be able to do cooking with mommy and daddy. So if you look at that, zero starts with zero and finishing ten on a scale is so easy and then if you look at them, most of them just have few numbers and just lines so you can try to learn how to read them lines because it's quicker just to do the lines and to do all the numbers, all the counting, okay? So let's see, if it's a this, what do you think that is this line there? Well done. Let's going to put it there. One. Zero. One. What number do you think that is that one? Two. Well done. Good. Let's see now. Zero. One. Two. Wait. Number, do you think that is this one? Let's see again. Zero, one, two, four. Well done. So I know that this one, one less is three. Oh, if this is ten, what number do you think that is this one? Let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you say nine? Well done. If I have nine there, what number do you think that is that one? Let's see. Zero, count with me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what number do you think that is this one? If I have four, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, and this one? Six or eight. Seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, <laughs> zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. So if you look at my scale, at my number, yeah, what am I counting? I'm counting in ones. So I am counting in ones. Aren't I? Okay, but if you look now and I take off the numbers and I just give you one and it's going to be there. That is easier to do and quicker, quicker to do because I only have to write three numbers. And that is what happened in the scales. They just leave lines in between and they just write few numbers, don't they? Yeah? 
So, if I give you the five there, what do you think that I am counting in? Let's see. We have zero and we have one line. One, have two, three lines, four lines and five. So that show me I landed in five counting in ones that I am counting in one. So if you look at your five there, and you know now that you are counting in one. So can you think of what number is going to be there and what number is going to be there? What number will be there? If I'm counting in ones, five, six, well done. And you knew that without me writing it, you just saw that after the five is going to be the six because I am counting in ones. So what number, if I have five there, what number is going to be the one before? Four, that's right, let's see. One, two, three, four, well done. So this is what happened with the scales. Now, a big question. Do you think, do you think that a scale always needs to start with zero? No, of course it doesn't. I can now say, for example, but I'm going to start in 20 and then 30. Big question. Still counting in ones? Between 20 and 30, have a look at my finger and count. What number do you think that is going to be in the middle? Right in the middle between 20 and 30. What number, let me go to that so you confuse that is. What number is going to be right in the middle? Let's count again, I'm counting in ones. 20. That's right. Let me put it there, yeah. 25. Let's see, let's count it. 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Well done. Difficult. What number do you think that is? Not this one, this one. I have 25 and I'm counting in ones. 27. Look at that. 25, 26, 27. What number then? you think that is going to be there? If I'm counting in one, 22. 20, 21, 22. Brilliant! Again, doesn't need to start with a zero, my scale. What about if I said to you now, 12, and I'm counting in tens, and I will land in 22. What number are I starting in 12? What number do you think that is going to be there? Actually, I can really know that. And I don't know the numbers. I'm counting the ceiling ones. 12. What number if I have there 15 and I'm counting in ones? What number do you think that is going to be there? On this line. I'm counting in ones. 15. 18. What number then you think that is going to be there? If I'm counting in ones. That's right, 20, 18, 19, 20. Well done. Okay, now I want you to have a look. So you can change the numbers and then the difference between them is 10 in mine, but it can be even longer, okay? I want you to look now at this, it will say number line, but 
Because I got the numbers, it is a scale because we're working measurement, okay? So, I want you to look at this scale. What do you notice? What can you see that is different? Let me wrap up the numbers. What do you see that is different between this line and this line? This one is shorter. I, I drew it a little bit shorter. But if it will be the same length, what is different? That's right. This one has less lines in between. Hmm. I wonder why. Do you know why? Let's see why. If I have here zero, do you know what number will be my last one? If I have zero there? Let me tell you the one that I'm going to put. Ten. Okay, because before we were working zero to ten, I was going to do ten. What can you see? Zero. There is not enough lines to be counting in ones. So let's see. Zero, one, two, three, four, oh no, ten. Four, ten. Mm -hmm. So am I counting in ones every time that I'm jumping to my next line? No. So here we were counting in ones. There. What do you think that I am counting in? Fives. Let's see. Zero, five, ten, fifth. Oh, ten. Hmm. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. Not fives. In tens. In tens, I'm saying. Let's see. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Ah, oh, ten. What? What am I counting on? In twos? Let's see. We've learned to count in twos, haven't we? Let's see. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. We are. So we were counting. We were counting in twos. We were. That's right. So, again, if I have done my zero, I'm counting in twos. That means that all my numbers are going to be even because that is my two timetable. What do you think that is going to be this number? Zero, two, well done. What do you think that is going to be this number? Zero, two, six, A. You got it. If that is six and I'm counting in twos, what is this one? Eight. Brilliant. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And what do you think that is this one? Two more than two or two less than six? Four. Absolutely. Well done. So again, you can count in ones on a scale. You can count in twos and it doesn't always need to be starting with 0 to 10. In my scale now, I am going to be counting, counting, counting. For example, um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to, put, going to put the answer. I'm counting in twos. What is going to be my last number? Let's see. 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. Well done. That's my last number. 22. What number do you think that will be there? I've got my finger and count. I've got my pen. Counting in twos. Say that again. 18. I'm counting in twos. What do you think then? Is going to be that one. Two less than 18. 16. 
12, 14, 16. And this one? 18, 20. So as you can see, only with showing you the start of my number and the end, you did know what I was counting on. Because I said to you, 12. Am I counting in ones? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, no, 22, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So because you know then that you're counting in twos, you will be able to work out so easily and quickly what number goes there. Let me write one for you and then I'm going to do the questions and then I'm going to send you to your work, okay? I am, I am going to start on, let me see, it's going to do 24. I have a look. Am I counting in ones or in twos? Have a look. Cannot be counting in ones, so I am counting in twos. Right. Big question. What number is there? What number goes there? Thirty-two. Brilliant. What number goes there? Last one. What number goes there? Twenty-eight. Let's see, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Well done, so quite easy, isn't it? It doesn't mean that by doing this, just by looking at less lines, it means that I am counting in twos. You just need to look at your number at the beginning and your number at the, at the end and see if you're counting if you're counting in ones, will you land in that number? Like here, if I'm counting in ones, 25, 26, 27, 28, I will not be landing in 34. So it doesn't mean that if you look at the scale so quick, just the first look, and then you just see it, you just see less lines, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be because you're counting in twos. Okay? You need to be looking at the number that starts, the number that ends, and then count the lines, if you're counting in ones or in twos, to check it. Right, a big, big, quite a long lesson for the first one, isn't it? But that's going to be so quick for you to learn. So have a go, and then tomorrow will be a little bit shorter, I can tell you, yeah, okay?